Happy birthday. <laughs> 6 a.m. on your birthday. <laughs> Still a tiny bit dark. <laughs> so I sit down to look at this adorable tiny thing of paper if you don't have one like it. Oh, it's tiny. It's adorable. <laughs> and then, as I was down here, do you think it's hole? Oh, the tiny bottle. Do you want my tool? It is! Oh, very dirty. Yes, it's incredibly <laughs> dirty. Maybe I'll have my birthday luck. Maybe. They're both very cute. Cool. Nice. And in the dark. Yeah. It's a nice button <laughs> in the dark. A mother of pearl. Nice. Where? Here, tool? Yeah. Here's a tool? I think it might be attached to this. Lump. Oh no, it's a big glass. Vile. Vile, and it's stuck, so I'll just <laughs> I think it's been slightly melted, but yeah, it's blue Ooh. cat's eye. Look how funny, un unusual the shape is, if you can, with such low light. Oh, we'll obviously have to film these all. When it's not dark. Yeah, that's really lovely. Yeah. Oh, how exciting. Okay. Now the two, oh. Oh, it is complete. It's a tiny it's little, a little brown one. Oh. It's got screw top though. Yeah, it's really cute though. I'll leave it there. We like screw tops though, do we? We do. I'm going to take it because okay. I really like it. I don't okay. care if it's not as old. It's brown. <laughs> Amber. Nice. Pill pot. Mm -hmm. Look. Wow. Is it um, piratized? Oh, yes. <laughs> oh. That is beautiful. That is beautiful. <gasps> wow. I love this place. <laughs> Tiny, tiny button, we think. There's lots of copper wire here. Can't they do something with it? It's really clean here, really beautiful colours. Collar stud hiding. Piece of multi bonfire glass, it's massive. So a little ammonite inside a rock. I think I might leave that one because there were lots of people here yesterday searching for fossils, like trips, like school trips, and I'm not sure they found that many. So if I leave that one just sort of there, maybe someone can come along and find that one. I wasn't going to pick up any sea glass this trip, but that is a beautiful, I think I'm going to have to take it, just one. I'll allow myself this one piece. That is beautiful. That would make an amazing piece of jewelry. 
Ooh. I think I might have to take that one. Lots of copper and other various little bits. a little, oh it's a little hook. Oh perfect for the crafting station. Oh I like that. Oh let's carry on. Is that something? It's sort of got a, a shape there. Sort of looks like a little scooper and it's curved. Ooh. So we have come to meet Tom and Rachel from Tom Finds Instagram today to go mudlarking with them to see what we can find. It looked amazing. Let me see. It's got, yeah, I think it's engraved with like a flower sort of. Oh my goodness. Design. <gasps> okay, look. Oh, it's gone. <laughs> That's amazing. I think I just fought. I'm just gonna follow you around. <laughs> That's beautiful. A little poison or perfume? Oh yeah, it's like a um yeah. Oh. Yeah, it's like a cologne or something, isn't it? With a tiny hole. Nice. Uh, look! <laughs> yeah. Or like in inlaying furniture. Oh yeah, yeah. Nice. And here comes the rain. <sighs> Thomas just gifted us this lovely little screw top that I'm sure we have a lid for. Oh, what does it say? Oh, it says Reeves London. So it's like, would it have been paint? Is that what's inside? Or ink? Or I know Reeves did paint. I love it. So Tom gave me this little bottle and it's a screw top and it's lovely, but it's Reeves London. Oh, that's so water. That's, that's ink. Orange. Like the ink. Yeah. Oh. I like that a lot. Yeah. Look at this. What's that? Is that a bit of pyrite? Yes, I think it is. It's like a fan shape. It's yeah. beautiful, isn't it? No. Oh, wow. This is Tom's find. Yeah. That is definitely an expert. Yes, yes. I found the back of my earring. <laughs> I found a hoop and a little scoopy thing. <laughs> uh, That's uh, quite not nice a back of the earring. That is lovely. Nice. <laughs> Once again, found something, thought it was a back of an earring, but it's not. It's a, a badge that says double R, I think. I don't know what double R was down for. Okay. Things have found it before that sort of I don't know how it works. <laughs> sort of clips in, pins in? Maybe Rolls Royce? <gasps> you get you get um like, I I've I've seen people find Austin like before. So it's a lapel pin? Yeah. Wow, Rolls Royce, it could be, wow. We should take you everywhere with this. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Wow, okay, let's keep looking. There you go. Thank you. This is half a copper disc that's sort of. You know, what's this, Mum? She's supposed It's. Ooh. Is it made of copper, copper I think? Yeah. Ooh, I don't know. So much copper. Beautiful. Washer? Very thin. 
Good for craft though, so I'm gonna take it. It's a little the wedge of fossils. Okay, so first of all, a lovely a buckle, buckle, which is lovely. There's this round thing. Is it a coin? Is it a coin? Um, I think. So it's a bit corroded, it's isn't a bit it? Corroded. And then what's this? That looks like a fleur de lis. Is it a fleur de lis for me? Yeah, I'm going to zoom. Oh, what's that? That looks like something off a. Of... Wait, oh, I'm so zoomed in. I can't. Mom, ah. well, it's a fleur de lis oh. for fleur on your birthday. Wow. And it's got stars in it. That's beautiful. Show it to Tom. Tom will know what it is. Oh, really on it. So I suppose you know what this fleur de lis is from. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Owl. The brown, uh, yeah, an owl. Yeah. The brown, uh, yeah, an owl. The an owl. The scout bird. Wow. Okay. Okay, I didn't think this was a coin, I thought it was a washer, but I think it's actually some sort of foreign coin, Kate. Or is it a washer? I'm pretty sure it's got stuff on it. I have stuff all over it. It's <laughs> 1920. Oh! It what is, is it? Oh, it's beautiful. Got loads of like more flying on. Something. I don't know, I'll have a look. <laughs> That's really lovely. Turn off the other side. Okay, keep, keep looking for the side comes. Part of a pencil sharpener. Inside of a pencil sharpener. Well, not the inside, but the, the sharpeny bit. I think. Oh, a little, yeah, we got one of those earlier, a little brown pill pot. Tiny ammonite. I don't oh. know what that is. Oh. That's like maybe like a, a blue oil pastel. Yeah, I was going to say, it looks like a... Yeah, it's got some sort of oil on it. Yeah, it's got some sort of oil on it. Oh, it's got a little bit of writing on there. Oh, it's got a little bit of writing on there. something with a writing on there. Like some button. And a fork, love a fork. Anything written on it? It's a bit uh, covered up, isn't it? Nice. It's like the um, bit of a buckle, but it's like the bit that prongs in, I think. There's some mysterious things lying here. There's a cog. It was a beautiful cog. And a... I don't know what that is. And that... I read somewhere that um, the pyrotized ammonites ended up where all the metal was. And I think that's true. Look at that. It's beautiful. Beautiful ammonite. A little pyrotized ammonite. None found this. And I don't know what it is. Maybe it's like a, a doorknob or like a doorknob. A slidey thing. Yeah. Ceramic, is. isn't it? Yeah. Ooh. I don't know, but it's very cool. It's, yeah, or something about like an... I don't know, like an easel. I say, I don't know why I say easel, but it's that sort of like saying it's the slides, yeah. Yeah. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> a spoon. I'd love to find a spoon. I don't think there's anything on the end. Oh. You just a whole I just found a whole spoon. I don't know if there's anything on the end. Is there something on it? I have eyes. Oh, it does. Oh, it's got a brief. Really? Oh, it's really decorative. 
is it a tree? Because it's got like a little shield at the bottom. It's not an apostle spoon, it's not got a person at the top. No. Really decorative though. Oh, nice. Lovely, thank you very much. Just lying there. I'm Sorry. doing, yeah. I'll focus it. Let's focus on you now. There's a pen nib there. Could be gold. So I'll get it with my spoon. <laughs> no, it won't. There's a pen nib. Ah, spoon's in the way. Ah, terrible piece of filming. There. Does this pen nib say anything? Very gold. It is. They did make gold pen nibs. Oh no! I'm what? sorry. It doesn't say 140 guaranteed, warranted, 140 T guaranteed. It says 14 carat first. I told, <laughs> I told you. <laughs> yeah, it says 14 carat. That's 14 carat gold. I for gold. Birthday. Oh, gold on my birthday. I knew it. I knew it. It's a got a uh, 14 karat gold pen nib. I've, I've read 140 T, but it's 14 karat. <laughs> That's amazing. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. yeah. That's, gold. That that is amazing. Oh my gosh! As soon as there's a hint of a figurine somewhere, though, that's. That's all. Oh, oh yeah. she's in a little oh, dress. Little... Flowers. Oh, oh, that's beautiful. Oh, yes, please. <gasps> Thank you. Oh. Still missing it now. Oh, I did miss that. Oh, it's a lovely bus and does it have writing on? Oh, it does and I should be able to read it right now. I think it says best solid eyelet. Is this a coin that I've just popped out? Yes, oh my gosh, okay. What is it? It is a young Elizabeth from 1963. It's a lovely condition though. It's a massive end of some form of cutlery. Ooh, lovely, it's the first one I found. It's really quite rainy now. There is another coin just popped out. Oh, you. Oh, is it another foreign one? It's another um, young Elizabeth, this time from 1958. So they're slowly getting older. Is that a coin? Oh, what type of coin is that? Um, <laughs> this is a three penny from 1944. It's lovely, I haven't found one of those before. Beautiful. I think that's the, um, the end of a dart. I think I found the end of a dart. Really? <laughs> I'm gonna quickly film this. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh my. Oh, is it just a penny? I think it's just a penny. I think there's a tiny, tiny baby ammonite. Lovely. Another beautiful ammonite. Lovely. It's like a tin lid or something? Like a tobacco? Yeah. It's a, it's a tobacco tin lid, isn't it? It's got this sort of machine made 
Yeah. Machine times, I should probably say. There's a word for it, isn't there? Yeah. The little pattern on it. That's, That's really nice, nice, yeah. Cool. Showing off your... Uh, <laughs> Yeah, it's got like, it almost looks like an art deco sort of bar graph there. Or maybe like a tin. Yeah, like a cigarette. Okay. Like, the... Yeah, you, it would like have like a curved bit around, wouldn't it? And then yeah. this bit would flip up. I've seen similar things, I think. Yeah, very cool. Nice. <laughs> oh yeah, it's got the gold pendant. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Gold. I did a gold dance that was really rubbish, but hey. I had to sort of scurry away from the dance too. Sorry, I've come to your spot and stolen the gold. <laughs> That's such a beautiful, delicate looking buckle. Oh, it's beautiful. Child's shoe? It is a coin. What kind of coin is it? Okay, could you read it for me? Tiny. What is that? Oh, is that a coin? It's tiny. Oh, I'll have to show it to you in a minute, Kate. The tide's coming, but I think is that a coin? It's got something on it. Oh, it's a half p. <laughs> I found a half p. <laughs> Could be an old half p. What's that? What is that? Okay, is that... Oh, I have time to look now. What is that? Oh! <laughs> oh, that's such a shame! It's the tiniest little the handle of a spoon or a fork oh or something. God. That's tiny. Oh, We've never found a trade token. <gasps> no! It says something and something trade on a wine merchant's cake tag. Oh my goodness! That's amazing! This is a good day. This is a very, very, good, good, very day. good day. A gas tap. <laughs> I've had the end of a... Yeah, um, oh. A trader's token. It's amazing. Oh my goodness. Isn't that amazing? That's incredible. Oh my, oh my gosh. And you're really shaking. Huh? It's really shaking. It's cold. <laughs> That's incredible. That's incredible. I'd say that beats your gold. Ah. Oh. Well, I mean, I don't... <laughs> oh, the end of a spoon or a fork. See if that's got something on it later. What is it? Oh, ooh. Ooh, it's a broken coin, but it's a coin. Can you see what it is? You, you, you see what it is. I'll keep looking. <laughs> That means it might be older though. Mm. Tiny pot, bottom of the pot. Really good for the doll's house or the doll's hospital. That's like the one I found yesterday. Oh, brilliant. A bead. <laughs> Did not think that this was going to be a bead spot, but I found two now. Identical beads. <laughs>
that was um, a trip away I took on my birthday where we met the lovely Tom and Rachel um, Tom Fines on Instagram yeah we'll put a link they were lovely they were really really lovely it was a really really nice day um, as he said, it was Mum's birthday, and Rachel didn't know that, but she just happened to have brought a home cake. baked cake, <laughs> and it was delicious. And yeah, he Tom brought us some of his best finds to show us, which will be at the end of this film. So, which and are amazing. He does has found some amazing <laughs> things, and yeah, it was just we absolutely love meeting fellow mudlarks. And yeah, we've spoken to Tom on Instagram before, and we were going to his neck of the woods, so we messaged if we wanted to meet up, and luckily he did. And yeah, it was a wonderful day. Thank you so much, Tom and Rachel, for showing us around. And this is what we found. So what was your favourite find? Gold. Oh, of course. Um, well, yes, the gold is amazing. The gold is amazing, but I do really like this too. I thought it was the back of an earring. Um, but let's talk about the gold first, I suppose. <laughs> so it says... Warranted a 14 carat first quality. 14 carat gold. And it's got the little silver nibs. Not a gold nib. No, it's got something different on the end. Mm. So, yeah, they had gold pen nibs as they didn't like tarnish. And then they got stainless steel. And then people just used these when they were. Extra fancy, Posh. yeah. <laughs> but judging by the date of the the dump, I'd say it's probably nineteen twenties. Mhm. But it's gold, and we finally realised that we'd found gold, gold at, the at, time. at the time, That's instead the of time retrospectively. It's third time we've found gold. It's my second gold. What was your second favourite? Um, the double R lapel badge. It is lovely. It is very beautiful, isn't it? It's like two reversed R's. Um, Tom thought it might be Rolls Royce, but you said it. Could it could be, be like um, Royal Reserves. I think it's um, Army, Navy, or F. You know, military. Because I think Rolls Royce, they're both facing forward the R's. But yeah, it's absolutely brilliant. And I thought it was back in the evening. <laughs> It's so it does dainty. look like the back of an earring, though, doesn't it? It's in really nice condition as well. Mm, came up really nice, clean. Yeah, I think you definitely had the two best finds of the day. I found my scout badge, my scout badge, which is a little fleur de lis, which is Mum's name, and it's got little star outlines. It's amazing. And now we can put it with our brown owl. Brown owl. That's why I said guards. brown owl on the film. Mm. <laughs> so we want to get the brown owl. So there you go. We're building up a collection. They're beautiful. Obviously, they're not as in good condition as Mum's lapel pin, but I don't mind the verdigris on them. They're obviously from the same era, I reckon. Mm. Again, this is like the but different different yeah. parts of the country. Yeah. Very cool. I also really like my melted marble. Yeah, you can so yeah, you can see that it's just a single strip of blue, but then somehow all this red has become swirled with fire. It's beautiful. So yeah, I really like that marble. It's that beautiful marble. Very unusual. I think that might be silver or pewter. This end of this spoon. Or a fork. I don't, it might have been a fork if you look Maybe at it. Maybe a fork. But look how delicate it is. It, but it's really soft. It's a really soft yeah. metal. It's not a plated or... It's not it's almost steel. make a... Yeah. Don't look just my well, nail. Well, you can see where the, the beach has like, made little bubbles in it. It's like hammered it. <laughs> yeah, and unfortunately that also means that the hallmarks are unrecognisable anymore. That's what makes me think it is silver or pewter. You know, it looks very different to all the other spoons mm. or cutlery we found. 
I think it's very beautiful and we need to do something with it somehow. Pulling out something to be done with it. Uh -huh. um, it's this end of either a spoon or cutlery. I think much put the little design on the top. There's this one, which is amazing. Yeah, we need to know someone who's got <laughs> those the initials. initials HF. But then that would make an amazing pendant. Yeah. With HF on it. It's really heavy, this though. one. We don't know any HFs. No. Yeah, it's a very cool one. I assume they're someone's initials. They don't quite look like a maker's mark. They look like they've almost been hand yeah. done. Very cool. Maybe someone's like mess spoon. Mm. And then we have a spoon of ammonites. <laughs> Which looks very cool. It does. It's a nice way like to display that. it. Yeah. I think that'll be the thumbnail. <laughs> <laughs> and this one has a laurel design. See there? Like a laurel and then it comes down. I've seen some like it. There's no make its mark on there and it's just silver plated I think. Okay, it's absolutely beautiful and we will try and clean this one up so you can see it properly. Can you put a spoon end in a potato? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> and then one last end of handle. Again it's very large and heavy and just has that design. But we are going to do something with them one day. Oh, we've got, got quite a collection. <laughs> and then as we saw in the spoon, we've got some absolutely beautiful pyrite ammonites. This one's almost like purple. There is something very special about ammonites like this. Pyrite, that noise is a yes. cat in a box? Yeah, that noise is sunny in a box. <laughs> we've got the sort of like worn pyrite one, which is like sparkly. And then this one, which is very cool. Quite a few in there, isn't there? There are, yeah. Tiny little one. Very nice. Might have to go in the doll's house's display case like mm. that one. A lovely copper nail. Very, really nice copper nail, that one. My little... <laughs> Scoopy thing. I'm still, it's just a very obvious shape to scoop things, unless it's broken. Maybe it's like a tiny spoon and that's broken at the end. Various interesting, isn't it? metal bits, curtain hook. Mum's not sure. I don't know what that is from, but it would make a very good crown. It would. <laughs> is it like from jewellery? Like a halo. Yeah. Yeah. Wow, well, definitely. Um, my bead, and in the film I said it was identical to a bead that I'd found the day before, and that is because we made a, a short film at this location the day before meeting Tom and Rachel, and that will be going up on Patreon. And Tom and Rachel very kindly gifted us this beautiful bead they found because they said they weren't really bead people and they know how much we love a bead. And it's absolutely beautiful and we can't tell what it's made out of. I can't really see it. Let me use the magnifying glass. Let me see. Yeah, it's like some sort of... It's not... I don't think it's plastic. No, it's not. Yeah, it looks like some sort of... A horn or bone, maybe. Yeah, or like a stone. I think it might be some sort of stone. Is it? Yeah, press it against your teeth. Oh. Yeah, it's a stone. Oh. Oh, I have to take a close picture, but I don't know what that's made out of. That sort of stumped me a bit. Hmm. I don't think I've ever actually seen anything like that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't look like... Um, Agate or coral, like Mum's just said. It's not, um... It's not amber. No. It's definitely stone, isn't it? It's yeah. not glass. So it's not horn, it's not bone, it's not all these other things. 
it's not tortoise. It looks sort of like tortoise. That's what's throwing me. It looks like tortoise shell or something, but it's obviously stone. Yeah, if anyone knows, yeah, please let us have... know. <laughs> and if it's something amazing, we will, of course, give it back to Tom, back to Tom and Rachel <laughs> if they want it. It's like a precious, semi-precious stone. Yeah. So this button says, Best Solid Islet. And apparently these are mostly associated with, like, workwear and are quite often found um, near old mining areas. Oh, gosh. But it could also be just, you know, a fly button. But quite often they use these on workwear, which is cool. And it's a really lovely condition. Mm. It's a really nice patina. It is. Very nice. Random copper half of a disc. Oh, and mum's inside of a pencil sharpener. Found a couple Second of those now. Yeah. yeah. Um, a big buckle, a smaller, lovely, dainty buckle, which we think might have said something at the top, but it's it illegible like a, now. It looks like a child's shoe buckle here. Mm hmm. What are they called? It's Mary Jane's? Yeah, Mary Jane's, yeah. <laughs> this. It looked like a one. It did. Might be maybe a good house number for the doll's oh, house. Yeah, let's make it number one. <laughs> a hook, which I were using as a hook. Um, a lovely cog. It's always great for craft. And then our coins. Start with the latest, which is this half penny. Which was deceptive and almost looked like looked, it was going to be yeah. like a hammered coin <laughs> in the sand, but just a half penny. So it's probably from 1970 something. And then we've got just a penny, which again it's um, young Elizabeth, but we can't figure out the date. And then there's this lovely condition, young Elizabeth, one penny from 1963, which is in really really good condition. That's beautiful. And then we've got a, and then we've got a half penny from 1960 again with the young Elizabeth. Um, a three pence from 1944 with George the Sixth on the back. It's beautiful. I've not found one of those. Oh. And then we've got two George the Fifth half pennies. So he was from about 1910 to. 1936. 1936. So they're between that, probably around the later, around 1920s, I imagine. And then the oldest coin, Mum's Belgian five cent from 1920. And it's got a hole in it. Quite a collection of um, older foreign coins now, haven't we? I really like do. It. One from every country. Yeah. We obviously had some bigger finds. We had some bottles, some little bottles, but we thought we'd just show you the metal finds in the roundup. So yeah, we still just have to say a massive thank you to Tom and Rachel. It was such a lovely day. It was such a wonderful day. It was an absolute pleasure to meet you both. We and talked for ages. We, we did. We went and had a. <laughs> Hot chocolate. I had a special breakfast. You did, yes. <laughs> um, so, yeah, we will leave a link down below to Tom's Instagram. Rachel also has an Instagram where she posts beautiful photos, so we'll leave a link to that too. Yeah, just have to say a massive thank you. It was wonderful and hope to see you there again one day or if you, come, if you ever come down here, just let us know. So, it is New Year's Day today. Officially the first day of 2022. We had an amazing 2021, considering the considering, circumstances. Yeah. Let's hope we, 2022 better. <laughs> we got to go to um, the MOLA, the Museum of London Archaeology, and the Witch Bottle Discovery, which there will be a film of that at some point that they have made. Not sure when it will come out. Um, got to meet lovely people, people that we hadn't seen for a while, some new people. Found lots of very good things. Yes. Mm -hmm. I'd say this was our best year. I think it was our best year for finds, yeah. Mm. Lost the dump. 
got the dump got the back. back. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was a very cool year and it the fact that we could share our finds of this year with you and all the adventures we went on is all down to you. Everyone that likes, comments and subscribes, everyone that donates. Yeah, it's all very heartwarming and wonderful. And we this will be our fourth year? Fourth year mudlarking on YouTube. And lots of our films, our early films, are no longer public because we had some troubles with someone trying to claim footage and songs and copyright and it was big it was a big um kerfuffle so it was easier to just take those films down instead of having to fight for every single one because there was a few of them yeah it was right. like 20 or something mm -hmm. it's just a lot so that is why they are private and also they weren't very good, they weren't very good. so we weren't <laughs> but if you know if someone tried to do that with our films now i think we'd put up more of a fight but but yeah it's been four years so we thought that we would make a little no it's been three years Three years. And we thought we would make a little... I was little... going to say four years. I didn't think it's only been No, three... this is our fourth year. Yes. Yeah. So we've only so, done three Christmases. So we've made a little compilation of... A little what? Compilation. <laughs> that's, that, that's how you say it. That's not. Compilation. Compilation. What did you say? I know it's not. <laughs> we've made a little... <laughs> you can do Com it. Compilation. <laughs> How do you say it? Compilation. Compilation. We've made a little compilation <laughs> of those three years on YouTube. So we hope you enjoy. We hope you have a wonderful, hope you had a wonderful New Year's and that, yeah, 2022 is better for all of us. Yay. <laughs> <laughs> and we will see you next Thursday. And after the compilation, there will be footage of Tom showing us some of his best finds. best finds, including the wonderful Cape Town traders token from the 1800s he found when we were there. Actually, we were very jealous of <laughs> it. was a very, very cool find. So, well, and the bird cage. Yeah, he didn't find that there, though. No. But yeah, and yeah, we'll see you next Thursday. Bye! Bye. Should all acquaintance be forgot? And never brought to mind Should old acquaintance be forgot And days of old lang syne For old lang syne, my dear For old lang syne We'll talk a cup a kindness yet for days of old lang syne. So we hope you enjoy. And here's a hand, my trusty friend, and just a hand of mine. We'll talk a cup of kindness yet for old lang syne. I found not one but not two but three pieces of clear quartz I think that is we'll talk a cup of kindness yet for all nine sign oh Beautiful. Should old acquaintance be forgot and never brought to It's a candlestick. Should <laughs> acquaintance be forgot and days 
<laughs> you found one! <laughs> I mean... <laughs> it was just such a lovely, wonderful day and yeah, we're just um, we're going to walk back now. Bye! Happy New Year! Happy New Year! You didn't say it, did you? Happy New Year. Okay, no, okay, we're doing, we'll just do one saying Happy New Year. Ready? Happy New Year! Okay, it's done then. How did that look? Stunning. It's got like the little loop and the little, yeah, it's like filigree. Is it filigree along the top, maybe? That's amazing. My, my favourite mm. oh, oh my gosh, I love Do you know how long this <laughs> so oh. 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 I really like this. That's really nice. Oh. 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 So this I, was I all found I, there. Yeah, yeah. I, I still sort of slightly confused why there were a lot of people. Put dad's on, you don't know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Some kind of pen That's lovely. Yeah. Yeah. I think like, someone told me to blow blow it's beautiful, yeah. But it's a bit longer than the early 90s. That, that's a really nice one. Yeah, that one, yeah. That's that. What's that called? Flaming Grenade? Yeah. Mum found this one as well. All of them. And the, that's the five minutes. But yeah, this is this is probably one of the. I found, I found, um, these, these are interesting because they're two, um, like cut glass. Marcus set. Like anyone else's. That's really lovely. Yes, thank you. But yeah, so I, I just think, how cool would it be if those were part of the set? Mm. Um, so this is a, for Empire is the sort of slogan. Junior Imperial and Constitutional League. Is that a road? And then mum, okay, again, mum, mum's found a lot of these. This is really nice. It's oh, a, it's oh my a, god. It's oh, it's a, got a lion. Yeah, but that's really nice because it's like Women's a Women's section, metal. British women's section. I think it may be said royal at some point. I don't know. Oh. But that, that's a um, British Legion early, like, women's. Um, that's incredible. Back when they used to divide so cool. everyone based on literally everything. And yeah, I recognise this from your Instagram. Yeah. Your tiny little puppet. Oh. I really like that. I do, yeah. What a box of treasure. Mm -hmm. You're beautiful. Oh yeah, beautiful I was going to film the girl guys. Okay. Tom has very kindly give Tom and Rachel very kindly gifted us this beautiful I'm just show bead. You the kind of things we have on our... Did you find any modern art pieces? 